Hi, it's Megan. So I haven't done a video in like forever, like forever, really, seriously. And so we're going to go for it. We're going to try to do a video and, uh, you know, one step forward. We'll see where we get with this. Um, I, by way of explanation quickly, why I haven't done a video for like ever, um, I just had some stuff going on in my life and I just couldn't do it. And so things are stable and good and fine but I just had so many distractions I couldn't really focus on makeup anymore and I couldn't focus on videos and I did some family of origin stuff and the whole thing and I did kind of cut back on the makeup shopping and I actually kind of redid my wardrobe and went back to school and did all kinds of crazy things and so at some point I'll do a video about all that, but for right now, that's not what we're going to focus on. For right now, what we're going to focus on is the Estee Lauder Biovioletta collection. And I'm going to start with the three products that I have in my first shipment. So the first item I ordered and the last item I ordered are still in the mail, lost somewhere, I don't know where. But I did get the Pure Color Envy Sculpting Face Trio, the eye gloss and the lipstick. And I'm just going to start by putting the lipstick on right now and then what we're going to do, I have like foundation and just like, that's it, powder, a little bit of like bronzer sculpting thing going on right now. Um, but we're going to start with the lipstick and uh, then I'm going to do kind of show you how it looks on and uh, we're going to expect this is going to be a super rusty video and I'd love comments as to what I can do getting kind of back into the YouTube thing after like forever. So first of all, the lipstick. Um, so all of these are limited edition. Who is Violette? She is a French blogger, makeup artist, um, influencer, like one of those amazing people who always looks perfect kind of thing. And she put together a collection earlier from Estee Lauder, which I did not get. And now she's got this new collection and they're all limited edition items. And Estee Lauder is not a brand that was on my radar since I was like, I don't know, 12. My mom and my aunt were super into Estee Lauder and they have a very cool undertone. They've got that super cool pinky undertone, blue eyes, platinum blonde hair kind of thing going on. And I am neutral with a yellow undertone and like a golden kind of hair thing going on, a little bit darker. And what works for them never works for me. And when I was growing up, Estee Lauder was super cool toned. It's gotten much more diverse since, but it was kind of my mom and my aunt's thing. And then Victoria Beckham came along and I really liked some of those items. And now we have Violette. All right, so the lip. And I did like um, the lipsticks. The I'm looking down because, I don't know, I'm just doing it. So the Pure Color Envy lipstick. Sculpting lipstick. The color is Diabolique. And it's 12.12 ounce and it's $32. So it comes in this little package this kind of cream thing going on. And I do outdoor swatches just because I find that when I ever, anytime I try to do swatches on the camera inside, it just, it, I don't know, it doesn't look the same. It just never works. So I'm using my little Estee Lauder Heat Wave mirror. And there's a reason why I'm actually using this because I'm gonna compare it to the uh, highlighter in the palette in a few minutes. So this is the lipstick. We're gonna try it anyway. This is kind of a weird thing, this lipstick. Like the bait and switch. It's a weird thing, but I'm not going to tell you what I mean. I love this color. I just, I love this color. I actually might get another one as a backup dupe. So just in general, the um, Pure Color Envy lipsticks were, I don't know, even before Victoria Beckham, this was the item that got me back interested in Estee Lauder because I really loved some of these lipsticks. It was one of those situations where I still felt like, hmm, Estee Lauder doesn't get my color scheme of the, I don't know, 20 something that they first introduced three or four worked on me, but they really worked. They were amazing. And I love the formula. And I thought they were just great lipsticks. This one is different though from the ones I have and love. So first of all, when I swatch it, I'm like, wow, that's a really plummy kind of a plum thing. 
when I, I just if you look at that that's like pink cool tone plum it's not at all what I see on my lips it's like even when I look at the video I'm like wow that is just it's not the same so I've been kind of puzzling over this so on I think it looks like a deep rich cooler tone wine red swatched it's very plummy pink definitely cooler tone than on the lips and um, hmm, just a different shade this stains slightly what's most amazing about it is that it has this like lip gloss look over it it's got this amazing sheen that my other pure color envy lipsticks don't have and so that's why I love this so much it's just I don't know it's just like this amazing look on deeply pigmented great color I think it'll match a lot of different undertones since it's just slightly slightly cool and um, that sheen and that finish is just so pretty on and it totally doesn't carry over on the swatch it's like not even close it's not even the same product so let's see what else did I say yeah I said awful swatch gorgeous shade so I take my little notes as I like do my little swatches outside and uh, totally different on not purple. so what they say about it and by the way Estee Lauder your marketing on this particular line of products is so bad um, so what they said passionate daring irresistible color with the passion to transform your looks no wait your lips your look your attitude I would have liked a little bit more detail so I went to the other pure color envy descriptions scalps multi multifaceted pigments create definition yes that is a really good marketing thing lips look beautifully shaped sculpted curvaceous I think that works but you didn't put that in your marketing for this particular product hydrates yes intensifies super creamy yes the lip should Lipstick bullet is shaped to sculpt the curves of your lip. The case feels like luxury in your hands, and with one click, case closed. See, again, I didn't know any of that just by like looking at the marketing for the Violet collection. And yes, that's true. It does it. Um, okay, so next we're going to go to the eye gloss. I don't know, suddenly. I got into eye glosses. I thought, wow, that's a really great product. And no, actually, we're gonna do the eye gloss last. And I tell you, okay, sorry. Oops, let's back up. All right, we're gonna do the face palette first. Pure Color Envy face palette. This again, the marketing on this is very minimal. It's pretty. It's very pretty. What I don't understand is on the back it says one, two, three, and then it says. SSP. I have no idea what SSP means. Just like no clue. So when they say Estee Lauder, they say Swirling Passions. That's the color. So it's 0.212 ounces, $48. Sultry, luminous, seductive. Wear each shade alone or together. Voila, a swirl of passion. Violet's tip. Brush highlighter on high points, temples, Cupid, <laughs> Cupid's bow, cheekbones, and chin. Swirl lighter blush on apples of cheek. Oh, that's deeper blush under cheekbones. Okay, now we're gonna get into that. So, kind of start. I'm starting to get it. Okay, so no, um, absolutely not. So we have one, two, three. So one, I have no clue what this is. If this is the lighter blush, someone needs to really rethink that because this to me, um, I was trying to figure out how to use it, and at first I'm like. Hmm, maybe I could just use it as like a setting powder because it's so hard to see even the swatches I was like trying to take multiple pictures outside on my wrist trying to make it show up on me and maybe it's my skin tone but this right here is kind of a satiny matte setting powder for me I don't this cannot be a lighter blush it just can't no absolutely not and we'll look at that in a second this is the darker blush and this is supposed to go under my cheekbones this is a blush I would go with that and then we have our highlighter I think right SSP I don't know how that translates but yes this is our highlighter and this actually is quite comparable to this my heat wave which I do really love and so let's just start with the highlighter and then we'll get into the confusions that are the lighter and the darker blush so I thought this was super super similar to heat wave except 
This is more of a warmer toned um, highlight and it's more rose gold. So this has more of like a gold thing going on. This right here has more of a rose gold thing going on, which I really liked. So let's do like a swatch. And these swatches just, these lighter things just never show up, which is why we do the outdoor swatches, but you can kind of see. And so we're going to take our little brush and we're going to play around with it. So the way I do my highlight, and I've had people comment before that not everyone can make this work, but this is what works for me. Go like this. Go like this. And it's always so hard to see that on camera. But that's what we do. And I really like this formula. It's like a creamy, I don't know, jelly powdery thing. And it wears beautifully. It doesn't show my pores at all. It's just a super stunning highlighter, which is why Heat Wave just sells out every time they bring it out. It's just a great formula, and it just is so flattering. It's not too much shine. It's just like that luminous glow. This is actually better than Heat Wave in that it's the same formula, jelly, beautifully, you know, luminous, finely milled look on. But I like the rose gold better than the, I don't know, harsher Heat Wave. Heat Wave is like one of those things that, gosh, I like it so much but it's not an everyday look. This to me, the rose gold, works better on my complexion and I think it's more of an everyday look. So the highlighter on this one is stunning. Now let's try the blush. The blush, what did I say about this? I said it's kind of a pink neutral and it's kind of a lighter toned. We're kind of uh, looking at this as more of a the lips, a more natural sort of a look. Okay, you're just coming from the gym and then we throw on these like crazy red lip things. But you can see, I don't know how this would show on really dark complexions. I, I tend to eat up blush, so I can do much darker shades than it looks like I can do. But this to me is, I just said, a real pink neutral. It's just, it'll work on a lot of complexions. It's a really great color, but it is lighter. It's got a lot of pigment, but I don't know. It still shows up as more natural on my cheeks. So now we'll get to the, hmm, I don't know what to do with this thing. So this first color, I just, I cannot, I can barely swatch it. And it's not just when I show this to you on my finger. That's it. It's like a matte, satin matte thing. And I don't know what to do with it. I don't, it's not a blush. It's, I just, I think I'm going to try to use it as a setting powder, but I can't. And I've been playing with it. I just, I can't figure it, out, figure it out. So if you have a darker complexion than me, you definitely, I don't know, maybe use this as a, like a brow color. It's not a workable shade for me. But if someone's made it work for them, I would love to hear how because I just can't do it. And I've tried. All right. The eye gel. And the, oh. Yeah, we said the price in the last one. So this right here, all of these are limited edition. This one too. This is called Sheer Scandal. They say light, sparkle, shine, illuminate eyelids and brow bones. So let's tip. Dot on bare skin or over eye makeup. Voila, sheer brilliance. So it comes in a little pot. Like this. And it has like tiny micro glitter, which doesn't show it all on my eyes. We're going to start putting this on. Um, and then I'll talk about it. So it does feel like exactly what it is, a glossy kind of a sticky thing, but not super sticky, but definitely kind of wet. So we apply it on, and then I'm just going to dot it right under the eyes. I actually had a brush to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we're also able to use this like as a highlighter here. And I'm super into cream stuff, always. As I get older especially, I think it looks better on my skin. And I also, I don't know, I just like the softer way it works. And let's try to swatch it. It's not going to show up. Hence the outdoor swatches. Yep, it didn't show up. It's just like a little glow. And um, I've tried this alone. And I've tried this over eyeshadows. It does not smudge my eyeshadows. It makes them look more vibrant and it does have... Um, this, this really beautiful kind of sheen to it when you put it over an eyeshadow. And it does the same kind of to your lids. It's nice. It's natural. It has a little bit of glitter, a little bit of glisten, and just brightens the eyes. I like that. 
I'm not sure that this is something I'm going to wear a lot alone. I mean, I get the concept where it's a more natural look and it does have that glow. This lasts forever on me. I have three hours, which on me is forever. The, the cheek and highlight lasts again six, eight, whatever hours, depending if it's over a bare face or if it's over foundation lasting longer, if it's got like some base on it. So, cause I've got dry skin, so it'll flake off otherwise. The eyeglass lasts maybe six hours. I've had a hard time kind of figuring out when it lasts because it's so subtle on. Um, I like it, I'm still learning. And so the plus, it's very pretty. It's very soft, it's very natural, it's very subtle. You're either gonna love it or hate it. This is kind of those highlighters that are also glosses like the Kevin Aquan or the uh, Tom Ford or the Bobbi Brown and it's like the Guerlain Meteorites. You either love these products or you hate them. You either think that they're the Emperor's New Clothes or you're like wow that's such a soft subtle glow. And so this definitely falls in that category. It's subtle and it's pretty and it's there and I like it but not everyone's gonna love it. Okay so this is what I decided to do with it and this is what I did and I liked this better actually than just doing it alone. So this is a Terry Mugler black coal. I have a bunch of coals. I've done some videos on those way back when when I did videos. And um, I don't think I did one for this one and I broke this one so it's no longer got the long, I dropped it. It's no longer got that long thin thing anymore but it still works. And I liked the eyeglass really amazingly well when I started doing the coals with it. And there's just something about the wet look with the sight sheen and the smudgy black, and I actually have some, another color that I'm gonna mix in in a minute, and I liked it a lot better. So I'm gonna turn this off so that I can kind of zoom in, because I don't, I don't think my camera will automatically adjust, and I'll show you what I do to make the eyegloss even more fun. Just a second. Okay, so now we're gonna play around with these little coals. And by the way, I've had mascara on already, but if it looks like I've got false eyelashes on, it's because I've been doing my Revitalash. And when I do that, my eyelashes get really long looking. So when you're doing coal, first you're using the side, and I'm actually going to have to do, I'm putting it right at the, on the water line. And then I'm going to put it on the lower water line as well, which I'm massively bad at doing and instead I just did a really smudgy under eye look because I totally missed my waterline which is okay and there I see this is why my coals are always so messed up and we blend and we've got a brush to do that which we'll do in a minute but I actually messed it up the last time too I think it's because this coal is broken all right so we're gonna start here but what I did play around with and now I'm going to get my brush to just mess up that like smudgy, smudgy thing. Alright, so smudging up black. And what I did before, and I really liked, is to bring in... Uh, so coals are all about the smudging. If you don't smudge them, then they just don't look right. But I brought in this YSL in this like blue color. And so once you've already got the black, it's going to look a lot less blue. And so this is what I put actually on the lower water line. And then... I smudged it in here. And we're going to get in on the inner corner. And don't worry, I'm going to do the other side and then I'm going to grab my little brush and smudge it so that it actually looks better. Instead of looking like a complete mess. And I've made a joke before, which is not a funny joke, about how if you're not careful, you kind of look like you've been out partying all night and like, uh, I don't know, doing drugs and like sleeping in a gutter. But so you don't want to do that. You don't want to look like you've... It's not a funny joke, but... And I think I just over-applied... But this is what I love about coal, is you just get that smoky, smoky, smoky look. And then you can just blend it away as much as you want. And you can also just keep applying more, blending away. And uh, 
I like that look better with the gloss than just, ooh, wow, that was not bad. That was, I mean, not good. Anyway, I like that look better. We're going to zoom back out again, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and this is what it looks like. You've got kind of that glossy look on your eyelid, and then you've got kind of some smudged colors, just adding a little bit more definition, and then you've got the really beautiful lip. I still think that these um, cheek colors are just, I don't know, they're, they're barely there. I'm not thrilled with, I'm not thrilled with the compact. It's pretty, but it's not something I would die for. I do really like the lip, and I do really like the eye gloss, but I guess, I don't know, alone it's just maybe a little too natural for me. I'd rather just smudge in some, uh, some black and some blue and whatever else to make it work. So, this is it. This is like my first video in forever. I would love comments, suggestions, thoughts, um, input as to what I should be making videos about. And just a hello. It's nice to see you again because I missed a lot of the people that were watching my videos. I just I couldn't do it. And now I'm starting to do it again. And happy, happy holidays. We're there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And please subscribe. I promise, I promise there will be more videos. Thanks.